What's going on, everybody? Thanks for checking out Search Engineers. My name is Matt. Today, I'm going to be giving you five tips to help improve your Bing shopping ads campaigns. Let's jump into it. Tip number one, use universal negative lists. As you're running your campaigns, you're gonna to start to see that you're popping up for irrelevant keywords. Now, these are keywords that are irrelevant to all of your campaigns. So that is universal negative. They're universally unimportant and irrelevant to your campaigns. You're gonna add universal negatives into your universal negative list to account for all of your campaigns. For example, if you're selling you know, patio furniture and you popped up for refrigerators, you would want the term refrigerator to be excluded from all of your campaigns. It's relevant. It's not something that's going to convert for you. You do not want to be paying money for that keyword. That's tip number one. Tip number two, Use the alpha beta campaign setup to structure your campaigns. Now you can get my free alpha beta campaign playbook in the description. You can just click the link, download it completely free. Now this is about a $600 value. I'm not even kidding you guys. I paid for coaching with a coach just so I can learn this basically. You know, I, I paid, I, now the coach was, you know, don't get me wrong. The coach was awesome. He was extremely helpful. He was great, really taught me a lot. But the biggest take home thing was just this alone, was the way he structured it, the way he set it up and everything. Just follow that. I promise you, your campaigns are gonna be much more profitable. Now you can click this video card above here to click my Bing ads free training. I'm gonna show you guys how I set up those alpha beta campaigns. And I'm gonna show you guys how I was able to scale my store to six figures using Bing ads alone. And as always, guys, if you want coaching with me, you can click the link in the description to book a call with me. You and I will set up a Zoom call one-on-one, -on -one, and we're going to be talking about how I can help you. I offer A to Z walkthroughs with me personally on how I was able to scale my store. And guys, I can't I can't give this offer forever. That coaching isn't going to be there forever. My channel's growing. My list is growing. My reach is growing. And I'm not going to be able to just work with you guys one-on-one -on -one for that same price forever. So book your coaching call today. I'd be happy to work with you guys. Tip number three, make sure you are using your budget on ad groups and product groups that are converting. I'm not even going to lie. This just happened to me where I was spending most of my budget in a day on products that have never even gotten a sale. So I realized this and I was like, I, I wasn't spending money on any of my other product groups that were actually really converting well. And I said, what's going on? So I went inside my campaigns and I realized that my budget was running out because I was spending all of my shared budget on products that weren't actually making money. So what I did was I went in and I lowered those bids like crazy, lowered them all the way down. I think I even paused some of those product groups. That way I'm allocating funds in the right area towards products that are actually converting really well. Tip number four, make sure your conversion and UET tags are set up on your store so you're accurately recording data that Microsoft can then take and target to specific users based on all those data points. If you need help setting up conversions, you can click the link in this description where I will walk you through from point A to point B exactly how you set up your UET tag using the Microsoft UET tag helper and setting up those conversion goals so you can start recording all of that valuable data. And tip number five, make sure you are accurately sorting your ad groups by brand. This is an extremely important thing, you guys. The whole, the whole way that the alpha beta setup is going to work so well the way it's supposed to be set up is if everything is really organized perfectly. Now that means each ad group has a completely specific brand of its own. Each brand has a specific ad group of its own. And then in that ad group, all of the different products that are in that brand are sorted by item ID perfectly. Now what happens is the beta campaign is, is able to funnel up all the high quality negative keywords into the alpha campaign so that you can set those alpha campaigns extremely aggressively so that you're able to appear for those extremely high quality, strong search terms. Again, guys, if you're confused about any of this, you need my help. I absolutely got you. Click the free alpha beta playbook PDF download in the description. Download that now. Book coaching with me if you absolutely need it. I would be more than happy to help you. Guys, I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving to this channel. You don't even realize how much it helps. It is growing. It is going fantastic. I just want to thank you all. And again, you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, I'm, I'm, a, I'm available to answer questions for free. You don't need to charge for that. But I'm extremely happy to help you at the highest level absolutely possible. You can book a coaching call with me today. I can walk you through how I scale 
scaled my store to six figures in five months. So guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.